Hello everyone, this is Krishna Priya and in today's video we will learn how to import OOTV data domains using InfoCMV command line. Let's move on to the agenda. So in this video we will learn what are data domains, what are the different ways we can import the data domains, the prerequisites for importing the OOTV data domains and the steps that are required to import the OOTV using the InfoCMD command. I'll also show you a working demo how to import them and we'll end up with a summary. What are data domains? A data domain is a predefined or user-defined model repository object. They have rules that discover the functional meaning of a column data or a column name. So what are OOTB data domains? These are predefined model repository objects which XML includes a wide range of information like your SSN number, credit card numbers, and email address, job titles, etc. So let me give you an example. Let us assume that your source data has organization employee details. Now you would like to find out which column has which type of data which personal information it has so now you run a profiling on this particular source data then enable the data domain discovery with the OOTB data domains you will be able to figure out if any of the column has PII personal information that you can figure out by the column getting tagged to a PII data domain so this is how you can use the OOTB data domains Moving on to what are the different ways you can import these OOTB data domains. There are two ways you can import these OOTB data domains in data quality. One is using the developer client, another one is using InfaCMD OIE command. So in this video, I will walk you through the steps uh, using InfaCMD OIE command. How can we import OOTB data domains? Now moving on, what are the prerequisites for the import? So initially we need the content management service to be created in admin console and associated with a particular MRS into which we are importing this OOTB data domains. And also as the reference data is involved, we need to have the content management service associated with the reference data location. We should also make sure that we have a valid reference data location and we can also read and write to this particular connection using Informatica. And also as these data domains are uh, inbuilt mappings, we need a mapping module, mapping service module in the DIS to be enabled. All MRS, DIS, CMS, all these services should be up and running in the domain before we import the OOTB data domains. Now let's look into the steps for the import. Initially, you will navigate to Infra Home ISP bin location on Informatica server machine. Then we will execute Infra CMD OIE import objects command. In the demo, I will explain you a complete command and each parameter and its value. So the important parameter in the command and to import the OOTB data domains is the CP parameter which is nothing but the control file that will have the details of how to import the XML file which will give the target location which reference uh, location you have to pick from the CMS and whether it to be a replace or which it should be reused all these details will be present in the, the control file. Now let's move into the demo. Let's confirm our prerequisites are done and, and in place. So the first prerequisite is to create a content management service. You can see I have a CMS service up and running. The second prerequisite is to associate a reference data location. I have associated one connection as a reference C uh, for the reference data location. And I have also made sure that I can read and write through Informatica into this DB connection. And I have also DIS available and mapping service module is also true and also the associated MRS is available. As we have verified the prerequisites, uh, here I'm showing you the XML and the reference data zip file which I have got from the Informatica shipping team. You have to request the Informatica shipping team to provide the data domain XML for importing into data quality. And the other file you see import profile underscore data underscore domain dot xml is the control file that we will use uh, to run the command uh, and that file is necessary to understand where the reference data should be written and how the import should be done. So I opened the 
control file and this is the content inside the control file to import the OOTB data domains using InfaCMD command. So here you can see a source project and a target project. The source project will be test project but the target project we have to provide the name. So it can be either domain group PRJ which is a hidden project under the MRS or any other project where you want to import the OOTB data domains. Make sure that the target project is already created if you are giving any other project other than domain group PRG before you import and also here you can see uh, source uh, staging DB connection target uh, as a reference C so you have to provide the name of the connection which you have given for the reference data location in the CMS so I have shown you earlier that the reference data location in my instance is reference C so the same name I have provided in the target and uh, this is the control file content. Now let's look into the command and its parameters. So we have to run the infacmd oa import objects command to import the OOTB data domains. The first parameter is hyphen dn which will have the domain name. Then un is a username pd password. This will be your admin console username and password hyphen rs depository service you have to provide the mrs name under which you are going to import the ootb data domains a hyphen fp file path so this file path you have to provide the xml file of the data domains so this xml file will have the mappings um, to import the data domains and then hyphen sc and hyphen sc is to uh, make sure we skip the src validation hyphen scv is to make sure we skip the connection validation and now then hyphen cp is control file path so this control file path uh, we have to provide the same path where you have created your control file so i've created them under the same location where i have my xml file and my zip file so i have provided the same location and then hyphen o where you have your reference data location so I have provided my reference data location and also the code page for the reference data now our first step is to navigate to infa home ISP pin I am already under uh, my infa home so I have to navigate to ISP pin So now we are going to run the OAE import objects command. Once the command runs successfully, uh, you can see that the command is successful. So we have uh, successfully imported all the uh, OOTB data domains using the infacmd command to verify uh, the import is successful or not you can uh, go to the developer client uh, in windows preferences you can see all the o imported OOTB data domains under data data domain glossary group i'll show you that this is the same MRS under which we have imported the OOTB data domains so we can verify the, if the import uh, has completely imported all the data domains from here go to windows preferences and then you can see here uh, data domain glossary group and see this is the same MRS if you can see that uh, we have all the OOTB data domains imported hence we are able to see them under the uh, data domain glossary group if there is no data domains imported you will not see any data domains under this those were the steps involved in importing the OOTB data domains using the infacmd command line option You can get more details and information by referring to the document and the KB mentioned. We would love to hear from you. Support videos at the informatica.com and also our Twitter account InfaSupport. Thank you.